In this tutorial you'll learn about a relational database called SQLite. Um, so data is everywhere and perhaps you're used to using it in uh, in Excel or I think of a database that way. Uh, so SQL database is slightly different. Uh, so on the one hand you have the uh, a language known as SQL which can be used to insert and extract data from the database and the database in this case is a file with uh, more than one table or zero or more tables um, and this uh, is, is like the mostly used uh, database engine in the world um, it initially started as some military projects so you can install it using this command on Linux otherwise you can download it from the web once installed, we, we can create our database file. So we import uh, our the SQLite module, and we'll also input the ACS module. We will have a connection to the database. So let's define, uh, let's call it con, which is set to zero, and we try to connect. So we can use the, the try catch ID. So we connect with uh, with our database um, and say uh, database is about um, uh, movies. It's a movie database. And so now we can actually use. Uh, Use the database once we said that. So we we'll send our first SQL command select SQLite. Sorry. And you simply return the version of, of our database system. So just copy what I'm doing if, if you're not getting it right yet right now um, so in case it goes wrong we simply print the, uh, the error and finally we have to close the connection to the database if it's open so if it's connected we want to close it so it's a very basic thing here what's going on we import the uh, SQLite module and the sys module uh, actually we don't even have to import the sys module uh, we import the SQLite module uh, we create a connection object which will connect to the movies.db file and uh, we will send to the database system to give us the version so it actually gets it here fetch one uh, item which is the version and we will print that so let's see what happens once we've done that and we'll get an error um, and you see we have version 3.11 okay it's not uh, very useful information uh, yet so we have some certain version of a database system uh, so let's actually make something useful so we can uh, remove all uh, all this don't worry about it if you didn't get it yet uh, so let's connect uh, to a database so we'll create a database movies and this database will have uh, one table so let's just call it a connection object so with the connection object uh, we will create a table so the command for that is create table uh, table name uh, will have an, a number 
or an identifier of that number and the title. Then um, we'll have a, a table. So all of the data in uh, a database system made in, in SQLite or any SQL language is stored in tables. Uh, you can have um, as many tables as you want. So we can actually insert data into the table. first movie, I don't know, Star Wars, whatever you want, uh, and go on to the inserts, several movies, uh, and simply run this. So create a database, we connect to the database with these two lines and finally we cr create a table in that database so a database file can have um, more than one table and we start to insert data so if we run that um, we get an error which is okay um, and to type connect here so now it connects to the database file so let's run it and see another error uh, in this case we need a con object here we get another error um, and this one is pretty obvious forgot to finish that one um, so we create a table, insert first movie, insert the second movie. And we get another error. Um, and this is because we forgot to type values here. So it's very important to get the SQL uh, queries right. These are all SQL queries. Um, otherwise it won't actually work. Okay, so let's just um, rerun it. And now if you look, we have a file called movies.db, uh, which contains that uh, the data. So if I just show you in the file explorer, we have a database file. Um, one program you can use to, to explore this data, so of course you can use the programming, but you can install a program called SQL Lightman. Uh, you can also get it on Windows or Mac if you want. And this program can be used to browse database files. So we open it with SQL Lightman. And we have our movies.db file here has one table, the table that we created, if you recall, so let me just open it to show you. We have one table that we created with an ID and a title. Then it has uh, one table, and if we press on that, uh, we, see, we actually see our data. So we have two movies with an ID and a title. So and all of that is stored in, in a single file. So we can continue uh, to add uh, more uh, movies if you want. So third movie, uh, another type of, of movie. Um, and uh, movies about Python. Then uh, if you would run this, you will see that this same thing, just remove that. So we'll get, we again get a file, the database file that we can open. And this file has three uh, movies inside it. Uh, and let me show you another thing. Uh, we are not limited to okay, first remove that the old database. So we're not limited to using only one 
two values in our table, we can actually grow it. So we could have a rating or a stars, stars, number of stars that the movie has. So uh, might call it rating instead. And every movie might have a certain rating. So depending on uh, on what you want. So if we would run this we'll get another database file and you'll see we have three uh, columns here and you can grow as many columns as you want and then use it to store data keep in mind that of course if you have 100 columns it's very uh, difficult to to get it and as i mentioned a table can have a database can have more than one table so just to delete the table again uh, database again and we'll create another uh, table and this table is um, contains actors so have an ID and a name and then uh, we add some data to that uh, to that table whatever uh, actors you want so now we'll have two tables Oops. Uh, and actually we have to make sure that we insert the data in the right table okay, let's run this we have a database file, let's open it, and we'll have two tables, so we have actors and movies, actors contains the ones we just inserted, and we have movies. So now that uh, once you have the data, um, you'll actually want to, to use it later in your program. So could have a, a certain program say uh, the program is, is the, the high score and of course we'll want to connect to the database so just import the, that module again we'll connect to the database with another connection object and so it's a movies database and with the connection object need again to connect And we'll want to uh, list all of the movies with scores. So the, the SQL command for that is select uh, star, so everything from uh, movies. And finally, we can simply get say movies is equals um, fetch all. So movies will contain a list of all the movies. So all of the data will be uh, extracted from the database file, which we do here, and store it in a list called movies. So let's run that. And we'll have a list with the scores and names. Um, of course, this is not very clear to read, so you might want to list movie by movie, one by one say print uh, the name so the title is the first uh, element zero was the ID one was the title and two was the, the score or rating that's what we called it so now we can simply play title of the movie and the rating so here we'll get all the data into a list called movies and we'll print every movie and uh, the rating. There we go. Um, I'd actually want to print it like this. Um, hold on. Slightly little buggy. So then 
we'll see the the movie name and the score. Um, in any case, it's my prefer a tab between those instead of a space. Uh, it's one way we could do it, or you could prefer a column. And we'll have the movies together with the scores. Um, so you can also specify uh, certain columns you want instead of everything. You could just specify uh, title and rating. Uh, so let me just grab the table for you. Um, we have title and rating, so you can just say, okay, select these two instead of select everything. Uh, but keep in mind that once you do that, we have different ideas. We only have zero and one, zero, one. So if you run that, do the same thing. Uh, of course, you can also select actors. So you could say select everything from uh, actor. And fetch all. So we'll have a list with all of the actors. print it and we'll have all of the actors which come from this other table so this was the previous one it's this one uh, sorry uh, this one so that's uh, the absolute basics of SQLite in Python uh, 